really? Hmm. Everyone just decided to actually do something with their Saturday night, unlike me. Oh, here I am. I got my rum and coke. I'm here painting the Y Faith painting. This is going to be the final live stream of this painting. Um, it doesn't mean that this is the last uh, amount of work I'm going to do on it. I might. I always end up doing more touch ups before I call it, like, really finished. But during this stream is going to be pretty much the final the final touches of this painting you know making sure everything looks quite right making sure everything works you know in every sense of the word welcome if you're just joining us uh, this is going to be the final live paint of this painting doesn't mean the painting is going to be finished during this but this is the last stream i'm going to be doing of it for music tonight we have church of the cosmic skull um, emulating the folk rock of the 70s and early 80s, um, I really like them. And they have graciously allowed me to play their music, which is fantastic. Um, Brother Bill um, of Church of the Cosmic Skull is the one who allowed me to play the music, and I'm, I was so floored by how quick and quick his response was and how generous of a guy he was with his intellectual property here. Um, I'm not met with that much animosity either when I when I go to ask uh, if I can play someone's music. Cell Dweller actually allowed me to play their music for a while, but I think they have a limit to how long that they can allow someone to play their music in a live stream or in YouTube videos. Because it, it was almost like it ran out. Like, I ran out of time to use it. And I only was able to use it for maybe one or two live streams. Before uh, I got cut off, so to speak. We are doing mostly detail work tonight. I'm not, I'm not sure why Photoshop is being so laggy. I might have to find out what is holding it back. Anyway, if you're just joining us, welcome. This is going to be the final live stream of this painting. Doesn't mean the painting is going to be done, but it does mean that this is the last time I'm going to be live streaming it. my most favorite things to do is called tech plating and there's a lot of it on this character um, basically just describes um, metals that we have not yet come up with it's like fasteners that we have not yet come up with sound off uh, if you haven't already, just feel free to let me know who's watching. I love to greet my guests here. I want to know who is watching, because everyone has some individuality. If you prefer to be in private, that is also fine. Um, it is a public space, so I completely understand if you do not want to sound off. But if you're watching, I'm really happy just the same.
I may be augmenting the uh, the helmet here and before too long. Hello Camille, how are you? Welcome to the live stream. Where we're going to take you to the cosmos and beyond. No, I don't even know. I'm going to try to at least expand someone's mind tonight. That's what I always want to do whenever I do a live stream. If you learn something, if you learn something about yourself, about the world around you, about your inner thoughts and who you are, then I have succeeded. you don't learn anything like that, then that's fine too. I, I just hope you have a good time. That's really it. I don't care if you didn't have a good time. It was your choice to come in here. If it's not nice, don't say it. That's just that simple. It's like one of those like, duh. I'm going to be doing some comic book style shading here just to give this some more texture. Um, if you are just joining us, thank you for watching. Um, this is the final live stream of the Why Faith painting that I'm doing for Jack Holder's anthology with the same title. This is sort of my concept of what this is what faith means to me personally. This does not reflect the views of, ev of everyone, and I understand that. I'm only here to have another perspective. In fact, that's kind of all I'm on this planet for in the first place. If I could help someone see another side of themselves that they didn't see before, then that's how I feel I've succeeded with this. For me, church was always a difficult subject. Things got easier as I got became a teen and my parents understood more that that just wasn't for me. Science was always there. Science was always there to lend a helping hand when it came to understanding the world around me and making sense of things. And it's, there's something about science that is intrinsic to every, every person everywhere that's not a fact that can be disputed that when you begin to understand something more you automatically are less afraid of it not instantly 
I said automatically. It's your brain is fearing a lack of understanding more than anything else. It's not necessarily the actual thing that you're afraid of. When I was very little, I was terrified of spiders. But I decided to open a book and read everything I could about spiders and find out why they do what they do and why they are what they are and within a matter of months I no longer was afraid I was no longer afraid of spiders and I was able to coexist with them in fact I began to admire them their evolutionary tenacity their ability to procreate adapt there's a spider in the Amazon that creates a bubble of air so it can go down under the water and eat these small fish. There is no spider like that around here. Those of you that are deathly afraid of spiders, do not worry. That spider does not exist around here. You are fine. And you will continue to be fine. In fact, spiders don't even want to kill you. They just don't want you to kill their babies. They will defend their nests like any mother would. In fact, if you give them a nice place to live, they will kill awful bugs that are around your home. I think I might paint a spider someday soon. We are going to do another planet generation tonight. I do need a fourth planet, no, sorry, third planet in this painting. Um, it needs more, it needs a little bit more depth in the background that I did not have before. For those of you just joining us, this is Church of the Cosmic Skull playing, one of my favorite bands. Um, they're actually from the UK, and they are a folk rock band um, in the same style as you'd hear from the 70s and 80s. Very inspiring stuff from them as well for me, because it's, as it says in the name, their stuff is very cosmic. And uh, what do I paint? Mostly space stuff, so it's good. Good stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying the music because I know I am. It's going to keep me painting until the live stream is finished. And that's the main point of me listening to music while I paint in the first place. I really can't paint without music. I don't claim to be the best artist in the world. Some of my lines might be might be a bit choppy. Some of my um, colors might be a bit off. Depth, perspective might be a bit wrong. One thing I know I do have is passion. I love doing this. This is my life who I am, I should say. Not necessarily my life, because I do have other aspects to my life, but this is definitely who I am. Not an astronaut angel coming from the, the world, the, the system of three worlds, but I am definitely a child of the stars. I 
used to feel homesick looking up to the night sky, I would be like, why is that certain set of stars seeming like it's calling my name and telling me that that's where my home is? You'd think it'd be projecting, but when you're a little kid and you haven't really had time to develop those concepts, you don't know what the feeling is supposed to mean. We're gonna skip this song. Something a bit faster paced here. Here we go. Right, we need some more bandwidth. Mm. I don't need to see it there. Be needing some more ideas for planets as well. Um, just shoot them out to me. Worlds that. Worlds that you personally wish you could go to. Give me all the ideas you can muster. is doing that much damage. Alright, it is time to do a bit more details on the land masses here. By the time I'm done that, we are going to need um, more ideas for planets. Feel free to shout them out in the comments. Um, personal message me if you wish. Band is one of my favorites. So good. A lot of the stuff my father used to listen to uh, when he was in the military is very similar to the stuff he listened to. I don't think I ever got the chance to show him this this band before he passed away. And he would have liked them. Going for kind of a somewhat comic book style for this, as a lot of the other Y Faith um, entries are actually comic book pages um, or entire stories. So I want it to stay somewhat comic book style before I'm done. Plus, our timetable's looming. Oh, oh, oh. So 
All right, this is fun. We're gonna do a um, leafy texture for these trees. The trees are pretty far in the distance, so luckily I don't need I don't need a lot of detail, but I need something. Ah, uh, this one looks perfect. Oh, it's huge. Oh, crap. Oh, I wonder if I can even get small here. Oh, there it goes. Hmm. Oh, why my internet is so slow today? Sorry about these cutouts, guys. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with my internet. Should be just a moment. Always when I want to do this, and I'm excited to do it, that's when my internet decides that it's just too much for me to be happy. I think I may have may have completed the problem with the internet here. Let's see. Whatever was causing the lag for Photoshop is also completed, it seemed. So like squished. We 
weird. We're not going to use that brush anymore. It's too bad, really. That was a nice one for what we wanted to do. I mean, that one could look nice. In the leaves, leaves in the trees. Why is this song so sad? But sometimes sad is okay. Oh yeah, this song does get intense. That's good. I need need a bit more intensity here. Even though it's just leaves. shell sorry I just saw that comment I probably could have been there for quite a while let me get a texture I actually do not have a turtle shell texture let's see I think I have some points left by the way if anyone's looking for like textures for any project that they're working on um, cgtextures.com is awesome for finding whatever you need. Ooh. Devon, I see why you wanted to to use this texture. Fifteen credits. Might as well use get the big one then. Here we are. This one down to Photoshop.
That is a fantastic idea. It's going to create a really good asymmetrical shape. And I don't think anyone's going to notice right off the bat if that's a turtle shell or not. I like it. some planet creation here For those of you just joining us this is one of my favorite things to do photoshop um actually surprisingly simple at least the way i do it i saw i found a few tutorials that like they can there's ways to make it like hyper realistic planets but i don't like hyper realistic unless i'm doing just a painting of a planet and then i will go and make it hyper realistic but this one is uh, in the background so i'm not going to worry too much about hyper realism here Anyway, um, first we have to spherize it, make sure that it um, looks rounded, has depth. There's a feature right here in Photoshop called Spherize that will make it rounded. We just need to do it several times. I'm already liking this. I might not need to do the sphere eyes too many times. Yeah, I think that might be good right there. Actually, just gonna steal our cloud layer that we used last stream. Might need to adjust it a little bit here, so it looks a little different. Ooh, there we go. 
Looks like this planet has some, what is it, radon, boron in the sky here? Uh, there's certain elements that glow when they react with radiation, and if this planet had a very thin atmosphere, it would react with the radiation in a certain way. Um, so what we're seeing here... I like this planet a lot. This is going to be very small in the background, though. And you might, you probably wouldn't even know that it was a turtle shell. Again, for those of us, I mean, for those of you that are just joining us, this is Church of the Cosmic Skull playing for music. Um, this is the final live stream of the Y Faith painting. Um, doing one more planet. This is the last planet I'm doing. Um, let's see. The painting might be done tonight, but if it's not, I will do touch-ups, but I won't be doing another live stream. Okay. Let's get some shading on this thing. Again, thank you to cgtextures.com for the turtle shell texture. That actually looks perfect. Planet turtle. Turtle, turtle. There we go. Why not? Why not have blue planets, huh? I mean, blue clouds, not planets. Whoa. Everyone must be, like, living it up. 
out on a Saturday night here. I got three of you in here, though. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. This was Devon's suggestion to use uh, turtle shell texture as a planet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad you handled it. Okay, that's fantastic. I don't know if you're still watching, but... <laughs> that's fantastic. Okay. Back to the art. I, I need to get this done. Uh, we're ready to integrate this planet into our main painting here. I still got to finish the leaves here, though. Let me finish that first, and then we'll throw our planet in there. Photoshop. A Three thousand dollar program, and it doesn't even work half the time. There we go. Wow, this band is oddly fitting for this. I didn't, I didn't intend this. I promise. Uh, this is a band I listen to normally, but they do really fit this "Why Faith" thing. Um, they actually sing about a lot of the things that I feel. Um, that it's, it's all around us. Those ideas. awkward moment when your processor and your video card are not being good friends anymore. Get over yourselves, you work for me. It's reflected on the moon. Not entirely sure.
Hey Sebastian. First Timo. Sorry, that's his gamer tag. Um glad you could drop by the stream. We we're listening to some 70s style folk rock. Courtesy of the Cosmic Skull. I hope you don't hate it. Honestly, all I can hope for. Just don't hate it, please, that's all. You can do anything else, just don't hate it. Oh my god, every two seconds. Why is Photoshop doing this? Oh, because somehow I opened Adobe Illustrator and that is interfering. Wow. Take it. I want to take you to the mountain. I want to show you. I'm going to show you interfering quite a bit. I do not know what he's singing about in this song, but I like the tune. Let's zoom way in on these cars and make them actually look like cars. Might be good, right? It's supposed to be a truck. There's always a red pickup truck in a church parking lot. Always.
Come on now, music. I haven't forgotten about the turtle planet. I am on top of it. Why does the... Why would the parking lot need a black SUV? What, are you implying that the government would go to this church in particular? Video output low. What is wrong with my internet, man? Come on now. I'm not even on Facebook. I have one thing open, and that is Spotify, which is playing my music. Those of you just joining us, this is Church of the Cosmic Skull playing. You, you would go to this church in particular in the middle of nowhere? Sebastian, I'm surprised. Oh, he missed the he missed the creation of the Turtle Planet. Anyway, well, yeah, I'll I'll touch on that a bit here. Let's see. To relayer some of this stuff, it's getting a little too busy looking. Ooh, that one should be all the way above. That's what it should be. In the end, it's all the same. In the end,
That's got a, a really cool idea, but it's gonna have to change the color of that planet. Might be worth it though. Thank you, Sebastian. Nope, we need the contrast. That layer is going away. The failed experiment. Talk about it. 
Definitely some technical difficulties tonight. Um, I apologize for it cutting out so much. The internet should be fine tonight, but for some reason, well, Spectrum was just here. Working on making the planets a bit more blue, creating a bit more contrast. start merging layers here because shit's getting a bit too crazy. anyone has a story that they have to share about what faith means to them, feel free. Um, any and all inspirations are welcome here. have to end this stream early tonight um, having some technical difficulties it seems technology is not always on our side it seems and that's okay Alright, looks like it's starting to get a bit better. I'm going to continue. Um, again, feel free to leave a comment explaining what faith is to you. And it doesn't have to be religious. People often confuse faith with a religion. Um, for many years, I treated love as my source of faith. Like, I put all my faith in the idea of love. That turned out to be stupid. Very stupid. Now I know better.
Time to continue our cloud adventure here, because what is this? What is this? Oh, there's new it's brushes that I hadn't seen before. Photoshop updates without telling me. Wait, I have a brush already saved for that. In the bottom. Right, that love is never stupid. That's correct, Sebastian. Love is never stupid, but I personally was stupid to think that love was all that there is, and it was the only thing that I should put all of my soul into. Sebastian, you just touched on something very important. Everyone should have a dream. And having faith in yourself is the first step to achieving your dreams. If you don't believe that you can do it, that you can live your best life, then you're already failing. I'm glad the stream is holding up because I'm actually starting to get really into it. Um, sorry, I just got distracted by a post I saw on my phone. Um, friend, good friend of mine actually got hurt in a crash years ago, and people are direct messaging her about it constantly and reminding her of all the pain she was in. Which I'm just like, why would you do that to someone? Anyway, um, I put sort of a green filter over the ground here just to sort of give myself a uh, a buffer for like I need some green coming from there and I need some purple coming from the top that's what's kind of cool about this I could duplicate this layer and then flip it Go to the height, put a negative, it gets flipped. And I can move it 
move it up and change it to purple. Purple from the top, and we now have our three colors. Three colors that I really wanted to show in this. This is almost done. Oh my goodness! I just I have a lot of details to do still, but holy crap, this is exciting. Um, I need to change these filter layers back to off, so that I can finish my clouds. But it's looking like we're almost done. That's fantastic. Clouds are also in the main detail layer, which uh, it's not great, but it'll do. Basically just making these look less um, spindly because they just didn't look quite right. Another interesting concept of uh, discussion, if you guys are interested. Um, what do you think angels really look like or if, what they may have actually, if they really did show up on our planet for whatever reason? Um, why did they get the name and nomenclature that they have? And Having faith in oneself is incredibly important. But there's also some really cool, interesting things um, happening in our brains when it comes to mythology. We seem very attached as a, as a race. We seem attached to the past. We seem attached to our our own personal um, traditions and where we're from, what it means to be us. Um, I feel like people get trapped in that though. Don't get trapped in that. If you're a thinking, breathing human, there's no reason for you to be trapped in, in your own dogma. Might not be using that word correctly, but the rum is actually hit me a little bit. That's, not, that's no excuse for bad grammar. Do not use alcohol as an excuse for bad grammar. This world needs good grammar.
We're on the home stretch. I get any and all suggestions for something to do with the bottom right corner and top left corner. Actually, I'm not sure what to do there. Bottom right. I'm not sure. Video up at low again. All right, I'm calling it. It's nine o'clock. Uh, my internet has not improved. I don't want you guys to suffer through any more of this bad playback. So, um, I appreciate everyone who has stuck it out through the entire thing. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this painting will be done shortly. It will be on my Facebook page and on my website. Um, Jack, if you're watching, thank you. Um, this has been an amazing opportunity. I'm so glad that I got to work on this and, and bring to light some of my views on faith. Um, I feel like our world is spiraling down to a pit of absolute and utter despair. But there's so much hope in our world and I just want people to look and see and be like, look at what we can do. One of my favorite concepts is that we can send stuff to space and we can program that stuff to send stuff back to the earth that helps us. I like to hear about the farm. Farm is actually a really good idea because science and faith sort of come right together. They, they definitely do work together with a farm because you have to rely on the weather and the weather's not entirely predictable even though it is, it is predictable to a pretty decent fraction. But you have to have faith that the rains will come. So a farm is a really good idea for symbolism over there. Thank you, Sebastian. Where was I? Oh yeah, the world is, is, is not in a good way right now. And we don't need to, like, having faith in a supernatural power is awesome for your psyche, but it doesn't help the world as a whole. Um, hopes and prayers can only do so much. And right now, it's, it's up to us as a species with our bare hands and ingenuity to save the world. That's the message I want to send with this painting, with this live stream, with everything that I ever do actually, is we can save the world if we just stop being awful to each other for even just a moment. No one is right, no one's wrong, let's just solve the problem together. Anyway, end of rant. Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. Um, this painting will be done shortly. Within a couple weeks. Luckily, it's only going to be March. Boy, the year's already going too fast. Anyway, have a great night. Thank you for watching, everybody. I haven't got the tools to build it. Oh, it's a little bit too, too good.